The Charizard UPC box is here, and today we're opening one and gonna see if we can make our money back. But of course, I also have another one that is going to one of y'all at home. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video, and let me know if you are excited for the new Pokemon games, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and which one you would buy. But today is a long time coming for this specific box that I even had to dress up in some of my more finer attire. And yes, I'm wearing glasses again, which I'll explain more why. But this specific box, guys, I, I, I can't even begin to describe of how amazing this box is supposed to be if I can actually open the side up over here. But the seal has been broken. I wanted to purposely wait until close to the actual release date of the box, which should be tomorrow if I'm posting this the day before and not do it too far in advance because Pokemon doesn't like that. So let us take a look at this. My goodness, there was the Celebrations Ultra Premium Collection box, which we opened back in October of last year. So it's already been a year. That is so crazy. So how does this thing, how does this thing work? So we got some magnets. We have the big old Charizard from like Darkness Ablaze and Shining Fates and such. And then, oh, does it open up this way? Oh, this is so, this is so interesting. Oh, there we go. So, look at that. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm so confused. I'm just trying to see like what's on the inside. So, uh, as far as getting our money back, these boxes go for MSRP of $119.99. So we'll round up, because we're not gonna include tax or shipping and such, to $120 flat. Now, you can obviously sell these, which I've not even seen before. Let's see what this looks like, the play mats, but I'm not gonna count this towards that $120 total. My goodness, it's the Godzilla Charizard. Just so y'all can see this, take a good look at that. The Godzilla Charizard playmat. My goodness, that's gorgeous. And then, going back to this, you can see on camera the different little slots. Now these should have a lot, a lot of items. Oh, and there they are. Are they all three together? Well, now somebody's gonna get that code. Let me get a little bit more comfy because this jacket, look, it's jumping up on me right now. All right, I, I really hope that these cards are, in, if I can get them out, in really, really good condition. Probably not gonna grade these because everyone and their mother is gonna wanna grade these. I've been really looking forward to taking a look at these. So we got the first one, Charizard sleeping in a field. I love the type of artwork that is this Kaido, Kaito, yeah, Kato, that Kato does in this specific one. Uh, more of a stencil type of artwork with the flames around it. It's House of Dragons time, right? It's a great show, by the way. And this one actually looks like it's in fairly decent shape. Centering is not absolutely perfect. So there is the first one, which I'll set over here. Then we got my favorite one, the Godzilla Charizard. Look at that. When I saw previews of this specific card way back when, oh, that is so off center though from left to right. I was just so flabbergasted to see uh, a type of drawing like that one. And then we have a lot going in, a lot going on on this specific one. You can see Mewtwo doing like a sideway blast in the background fighting against Charizard. Uh, this one's really cool. There's just a lot going on, so it's kind of hard to tell what's going on unless you really take a deep, deep, wait, who's that right there? That doesn't look like a Tentacool, does it? Are there any other Pokemon? Yes, there is. There's a Diglett down here being like, what is going on? Just run to sleep. All right, that's really cool. So, and then y'all got the uh, code. We'll take a look at the, and that's just that slot. There's Lost Origin, Astral Radiance, Brilliant Stars, so a nice assortment there. More packs, and oh, sleeves. Wait, these are interesting looking sleeves. Well, first off, they're made of this quality, which now they just, instead of it being clear for the sleeve, and now it's like a foggy transparent, which is not good. And then, 
there are the sleeves. Now, I would love to know your thoughts at home on why this, like, how this has a little, like, red around it. It feels like they just didn't have the resolution big enough, so they put the red around it. I don't know. I, I prefer if it was, like, the whole thing and it was a bit more glossy. But I don't know. I, I don't like that as much, but that's okay because they're still really cool looking. These actually weigh something. And then we got the dice, golden dice. I'm not sure if these are the same type of ones from like the celebration one. And then there is the coins. I think these are a bit different. They also weigh a little bit something. So that's really cool. So let's take a look at the packs and looks like there's some other things on the inside of here. Yes, there's Evolving Skies pack, guys. There's a, they gotta just throw that in there. So there is that. Let me put that over here. I believe that's everything. We got packs to open up today. Some packs that, wow. Well, first off, let's start with Brilliant Stars. And I'm gonna put these actually right over here so y'all can see this Charizard box seal. Now that one, this one right here is going to one of y'all. So don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and let me know if you're excited for Scarlet and Violet, but now we're on to Brilliant Stars, uh, Psychic Energy for the Guesty Energy, and now the pulls begin to see if we can pull enough cards to beat $120, which is the MSRP for these Sword and Shield boxes. Now, um, obviously, and again, I wanted to wait until closer to the street release date to open this box up, so I do appreciate y'all watching today. Fighting energy, very nice. Pats on back, of course you can play at home. There is something at the back of this one. I don't know if it's bent in a certain way, but that's why I can see it. Murkrow, Wurmple, and a beautiful Gutra V-Star. So, our first pull of the day, I'm gonna go ahead and say that that one, as we get into some Lost Origin, and you're seeing some of the best cards on screen that can help us get to that 120, uh, the Gutra is probably not worth too, too much. Leaf energy. Also, lots of other things going on with the channel, guys, which I have a fairly big update I'll be making on the channel as well. Uh, not in this video, as we get a Gengar, which, happy Halloween. I'm not gonna count it right now. Uh, the, I mean, the holographic, as I'm about to sneeze. Don't sneeze! I'm telling you, the multitasking when recording is a lot more difficult than people think. But I'm a pro, what can I say? Leaf energy. Anyway, let's continue. Overall, uh, I, I personally like the Celebrations one better of this box. Uh, yeah, I said it as we get a Leafy on. Uh, I like the, as we get, and now Astral Radius, I like the Celebrations one because it came with two metal cards and it came with non-metal cards as well, if I'm remembering correctly. Water energy, so a lot of variation. I think it actually came with some Vivid Voltage as well, which, I still have cards from that set, which I have not pulled. However, this one does come with Evolving Skies. We will count this a Hootie and the Blowfish Hoot Hoot. Not that it really helps us too, too much. Let's get into what may be the final Astral Radiance. So there is a very nice pack selection, a variety of pack selection, fire energy in this box, which is great. At the same time though, not all of the sets are the absolute best, which is gonna happen when you get a box like this but this box was just so heavily as we get. Is this, wait, oh my gosh, guys. Okay, there's a random darkness ablaze, probably because of the dark, the Charizard artwork that we saw earlier, but look, there's vivid voltage packs on the inside of this. That's insane. I love that. Let's get into darkness ablaze. Now, basically the Charizard is the card that's really gonna help us out the most. Uh, water energy, very nice, pats on back from this specific set, but it looks like there's only one pack of Darkness Ablaze. So let's see what we can do with this one. Got the uh, Swana, so nothing from that. Now we got Fusion Strike. Looks like we got about two to three Fusion Strike packs now. There's the Gengar and there's the Mew, Fighting Energy, and a couple other really cool cards that Shauna of the Dead that's in Fusion Strike that can really help us do some damage because we need it so far. Pengoro and a Cloister. All right, let's get into some Vivid Voltage. Guys, I am missing two cards. The Hyper Rare Leon, the rainbow one, the one mine, Fighting Energy, and then I'm missing the Pikachu V, the one with the pink and purple background. 
Yes, it has been how many years now, or almost two years, and I still have not pulled it. And the search continues. We do have one more pack of Vivid Voltage, but here we go with Now Evolving Skies. Umbreon reaching for the moon, the alt art. Yes, I'll be going back to the library, Fighting Energy, uh, in a video sometime soon to try to muster the spirits of the library to pull, this sounds like somebody like died at the library, basically to muster up the luck to see if we can pull the Umbreon alt art. A card I just don't know how to pull. Uh, lightning energy, let's go. Fracture, Weavile, so far we're really needing some more cards if we're gonna do some damage. Excavalier, let's go with another fusion strike. The three Charizard cards, I, I wonder what like their thoughts are when fighting energy, they're like, all right, we're making a Charizard box that obviously everybody loves Charizard, but then they're like, how many, like what's the hit, like the, the main thing of the box? Like this specific box, and I haven't done this and I probably should, so you can see all three of these promo cards. This one the best. Like, like they're like, we should do three promo cards. No, we should do a 20 promo cards and have a really cool illustration for each of them. I mean, I like this, this is really cool. And when leaks came out about, like there was like a pamphlet or something like that, or a brochure or an ad or something, and you can barely see these type of artworks on the cards, psychic energy, and people were like, including myself, we're like, I mean, the ad looks real. However, they haven't done a type of Charizard illustration like that ever. So it was really kind of like, is it gonna happen? Is it not gonna happen? You just didn't know. Wait, guys, I didn't see this. Is that supposed to be a Charizard? There's a pokey, pokey ball in the back. Oh yeah, there we go. So there he is. Charizard, gold coin. Well, that helps you to make up for the non-metal cards. That's kind of heavy. All right, let's go with the Evolving Skies pack. Guys, we really need to do some damage here. Uh, Leaf Energy, but an Alt Art Eevee, even just getting one of the top ones, like, we're there. We're already there. But it's very difficult and to get a Zoroark. These are all what we've pulled. This is it. We're gonna need some help. Final Vivid Voltage Pack. Forgot about the play mat that I have down here. That was cool. It doesn't have any like specific outlines on it for playing fighting energy, but not that you really, you can, it's easy to set up an actual playing board for if you want to actually play the Pokemon TCG. But overall, I prefer it actually without it. It just looks really cool. Uh, whether you want to play it or not, or just, uh, you know, I know there's people that just collect the play mats and stuff, not just from competing fighting energy, but the beautiful designs on some of the promo boxes. Uh, but as we get into the final Brilliant Stars pack, guys, I opened up some more newer products recently. That was in some of the videos that were more recent. If you can, they will be in the eye and in the end screen that's gonna be coming up. Definitely please go check out those videos right after you're done watching this one. Fighting Energy, I'm also giving y'all some incredible vintage graded stuff in that video that's going to y'all, so definitely Carvana, na na na. Go check out those videos right after this pack. All right, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.